My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. <laughs> Man, I don't know how to start these things. So let's just hit the ground running, all right? You're coming here to learn how to AFK your defense, and I'm here to show you. We're going to go a little off the cuff here. We're going to see how this turns out. Let's just, uh, let's vibe with each other, you know? Let's let our personality shine through. Dear God. I'm going to come here and test with my man Bernard, but we've got a few things we got to do first. So let me explain to you what we need before we can start AFKing our defense. And it's pretty simple. Train hard, fight easy. This is where it all begins. We have to get this done and launch the next mission before we can AFK. So I'm going to get through this training, and then I'm going to launch with Hans to finish what we need to finish. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. We have finished Train Hard, Fight Easy, and we have started keeping the peace, and we are neglecting it. We don't need it. You can leave Yaroslav. I'm Nightingale. The Nightingale to rot until you are ready. As you can see, we've got main level four still. We increased in strength, and I think agility and vitality are the same as they were. We have two defense. We just made it to two defense, and we have one sword. That's what we gained training with Bernard already on the scripted training. And now you can get Master Strike training, which is absolutely what you should do. But you will need the weapon skill of three, and we only have nearly two. So let's talk to Bernard, and we're going to ask him if we can train, and we're going to go with practice weapons. I'm sure Bernard would love to fight with poles, but what we're going to choose is either short sword or axe because we want the shield and in order to get the shield we need to be short sword axe or mace the thing is is that even the practice mace can wreck your whole existence all right at the very least it's going to wreck your armor when you get hit so we're here we're training with bernard and if we hold block every time that axe is hitting our shield we're getting two experience points okay every time we block with our shield a normal block but when we do a perfect block we're going to get 8 XP. But when you perfect block, he doesn't do his chain strikes. Also, our defense is so bad that, you know, perfect block isn't always the easiest thing to get right now. When it comes to master strikes, though, they're worth 16 XP, but you actually have to block their strike in order to get the XP from a master strike. Um, so things like throwing the enemy aside or hitting them before they can hit you is going to prevent you from getting XP, even though you successfully performed the strike. If we want to AFK, what we're going to do is we're just going to back ourselves up into the southeast corner here. And we're going to hold our shield. And that's it. We are now AFKing, sort of. Of course, we're holding a button. Now, we can get a rubber band or a hair tie. You put that over your block button. Uh, if you're on PC, you're going to go ahead and find something heavy, maybe, to set on your key. Or, I don't know, you could probably set up some kind of macro or something like that. Uh, you know, master race and all. You could probably just edit in the defense anyway. So, maybe this tutorial is not for you. <laughs> but, um, why the southeast corner? I did a lot of testing doing this video. We're in the southeast corner because in my testing, when I'm in a different corner, I get clinched a lot more. Let's try this one. Let's see, I'm getting getting clinches here. Now, if you're holding back into the corner, it looks like, yeah, see, I'm holding back and he's going to clinch the, the heck out of me. He's just going to clinch one and again. So don't hold back into the corner. Once you're in the corner, don't do any more movement. Just sit in the corner. But see, I'm he's not swinging much, and I'm getting tons of clinches here in this corner. And I've tested all of them. And I find the best results are here. I don't know if it's um, something to do with the way the ground and the fence meet. Yes, you will get clinched. And yes, he'll do counters on you. But if you're watching my health bar, I mean, for one, we're not losing health. And the stamina loss, I don't think it ever dips 20% of maximum. So as long as you're not fighting him, you're never going to run out of stamina to block him which is kind of key to the AFK part, right? You can set it and forget it. You don't need to worry about him killing you. 
if you chose a mace, um, it's it doesn't go as nicely. But the short sword and the axe as wooden weapons, you can do this all the way to level 20. Now, I wouldn't advocate for going to 20. What I'm going to recommend to you with this method is to get yourself to a comfortable 5, 6, maybe 8. If you're struggling a little bit in the um, timing department when it comes to your perfect block, and then do your master strike training, you know, get your get your weapon up. And certainly at any point here, you could jump in, take the rubber band off your controller and swing at them, get your weapon skill up so that you can do the master strike, which is a good strategy. And then what you want to do with your newfound abilities is hit up that Rate tournament. The Rate tournament is going to test all your combat related skills. Um, varying degrees on the weapon ones because you rotate weapons, but it's going to it's gonna level all those up organically in a way that's engaging. You, the player, are learning how to combat if you're not comfortable with it yet. And when you win, because you're going to win, because you're a stud, you're awesome, you're going to do it, and you're going to get Lords of Lipa gear for the first five wins. The Lords of Lipa gear is fantastic, uh, especially to start the game out in. And then further, the sixth win, you're going to get that shield, the Mighty Boosh, for any of you who know that reference. So now you've got your defense covered, and then you're going to get a menagerie of weapons. You're going to get the metal-plated battle axe, I believe the one with the point, at the seventh win. You're going to get the Raven's Beak at some point. You're even going to get the best vanilla bow in the game, the Yu Longbow. And of course, once you beat the tournament 26 times, you're going to get the Envoy's aide de camp, which is highly sought after as the best weapon in the game. So we got our defense to six in um, however much time that was, which maybe 20 minutes or something. So we went up four levels in no time. But it's it's just that simple. You know, you come here to Bernard, you finish train hard, fight easy, you started keeping the peace, you came back here, and you just let him swing his wood at you for a while. You go all the way up to 20 if you want. I think that's gratuitous. But hey, you know what? If it's AFK, why not? Watch your shows. Take a bath. You know, use the potty. <laughs> the potty. You can tell him, Dad. You know, if you, uh, if you learned something here today, if you're going to use this tactic, maybe drop me a like, maybe a subscription. That'd be great. Um, you know, I'm going to try to keep providing you guys with good information on this game i know it's a well-covered game and it's a six-year-old game but you know what the people who know they know this game it just it it burrows in and it takes hold and we love this game and the only thing that's going to satisfy us is a sequel i'm going to keep giving you some cool information some tips and tricks to help you with your playthrough so you know you grind out that tourney when, we're, when you're done, you come back here, and I'll have something cool for you. We're going to go, um, maybe we're going to go to Ladechko and work on being a thief. Or we're going to go to Ujits, and we're going to get ourselves the dark combat jacket. One of those two things is going to happen, and I want you here for it. So you join me next time, and I'll catch you later.